This video is brought to you by our kick-ass board members. I'm thankful for all my fans, and board members are the biggest. Thanks. Like, uh, 600 years ago, round about when I was in the Boy Scouts, my friends and I would make up dumbass merit badges. Because we didn't want the gardening or the coin collecting badge. We were idiot kids that wanted to do things like shopping cart jousting. They call me Sir shops a lot I fight nobly for the Knights of the Round Bagel. <laughs> And about the dumbest badge we came up with was naked camping. So if you got a second, I'd love to tell you, the wonderful like button clicking god that's watching, about one of the dumbest things I ever did. So it's around about the sixth grade. We haven't been in scouts in a few years. And we're walking over to my buddy's Kev's house for a sleepover. So Beans and I are walking over to his house. I remember, because Beans had a huge ass crush on Kev's mom, and he'd do dumb shit to impress her, right? I can't wait to give her this mayonnaise sandwich. That makes sense. I'm in the sixth grade. I don't know how love works. So we get to the house, and Kev's dad answers the door. Ah, shit. Honey, Alex is here with that creepy boy that stares. She remembers me. Listen here, you little perverts. No one's allowed in the house. 90210 is on and that means I might get lucky. You're camping in the yard. But what if we have to pee? Well, it's not rocket science. You piss in the pool. So nightfall hits and we're camping in the remote wilderness of Kev's craptastic backyard. And I'm adjusting to camping. I can't camp out here. I don't have my sleep comforter mattress. I saw the news, Native Americans survived the wilderness by building makeshift resort casinos. There was four people in the tent. Me, Beans, Kev, and this kid Blake that always said random shit. Kelsey Grammer likes pancakes! And one thing we couldn't do was leave the tent. If I catch a single one of you out of this tent before morning, I'm gonna spank you harder than a 2 by 4 hits a park bench. Yes, yes sir. sir! Now here's one Capri Sun and some Triscuits! So we're in the tent, trying to figure out how to pass the time. Eventually, Kev says, Remember when we'd invent merit badges? Why don't we do that? Ooh, I dare you guys to leave the tent. You gotta run across the yard, touch the fence, come back. I like it. What if you had to do it with your eyes closed? Yeah! Yeah, yeah and you have to do it naked! Okay, fine, I get it. I'll go first! So this dumbass pops out of the tent, rips off his clothes, runs across, touches the fence, comes back. He's all like, Real men run Randy! And we're all like, God damn it, now we have to do it! So the three of us are huddled up and we're like, All right, who's gonna go first? I don't particularly want to go first, because I don't need these kids knowing I'm wearing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle underpants. I could care less if they see my butt cheeks flapping in the wind, but if these punks see my underpants, my life is over. Kev pops out, runs across, no problems, comes back. Did anyone see you? No, I was sneaky like a ninja. Meanwhile, I am sure at least one neighbor must have seen us. Holy shit, Cheryl! Naked ninjas are attacking the neighbors! They're a lot smaller than I thought! So now it's just down to me and Beans. Now Beans keeps looking at Kev's house like, what if Kev's mom sees me? I know I'm worried about my dignity, but who am I to get between a woman and her mayonnaise sandwich? I'm like, all right, Beans, I'll go first just to show you it's safe. So I step outside the tent and I realize it's pitch black, so they can't see my clothes. So I'm thinking, you know what? I can do this. I can pull this off. I take a swig of the liquid courage called Capri Sun. I rip off my clothes, say a quick little prayer to Leonardo and Donatello, and drop my trousers. And I make it about halfway to the fence when a light in Kev's house turns on. What the hell is going on out there? And I'm freaking out like I'm almost there. I can make it. I keep running. I touch the fence. I turn around and... I didn't make it. God damn it! Can't you kids just be normal for one night? What are you doing? You know what I should have said? My friend was scared. And I'm scared too. But I wanted to be brave so my friend could see everything was gonna be okay. Because that's what good friends do, Mr. Kev. You know what would make you feel better, Mr. Kev? I made your wife a mayonnaise sandwich. If you're interested, I could use your help. I'm obsessed with our board member program, where we reward fans for supporting the channel. So right now, go to itsalexclark.com, 
check out the cool stuff. And if you're into it, join. I'd really appreciate it. All right, bye.